if you can start seeing how your environment impacts you and your survival and how you feel about yourself, how you show up, how you really believe in yourself, and it's the truth. There is no way else to see it except it's time to clean up the environment. And that can be emotionally, that can also be around you. Find what's holding you back so that you can start creating in a way where you start feeling your love, your love for yourself. You can start feeling the energy of people around you so you become more of like an intuitive person to be able to breathe in almost like you're, you're eating the atmosphere. And if it's good, you want more. You want to scrumptiously want more. You want to stop numbing yourself. You want to stop walking away because all of a sudden you can feel it. That's where the love and the creativity and things become together and be born as a beautiful flower. Think of a plate that's right in front of you, a white, beautiful plate with all these colors is mapped out of everything that you want right now. If you tapped into your creativity, and that would be in the heart space, your head can only take you so far. And for example, I can hear Oliver barking. He's like, are you doing a Facebook Live? That's my seven-year-old puppy. Okay, so let me get back on track because he loves being in these live videos. When we start clearing up our environment, Massive changes start happening. We start showing up for ourselves. When we say we're going to do a live video, we do it. When we get involved in something, we're all in. We don't just half-ass. Thank you, Grandma, for that half-ass lingo. But we get we start getting into the groove. So now our body is moving. We can feel the flow. We don't feel like we're walking like this robotic, like everybody else. But we can really see and hear ourselves. Our health relies upon us to be doing this stuff. If we don't live in our passion, then what are we doing here on earth? We want to take the most beautiful self-care we can of this vessel, this, this body that's here for us forever, forever until it's time to pass on. <laughs> How about that? I started thinking this way when I started writing in my journal. I have my journals here. This is my health journal. And I, and I start looking at these things, but it helps me engage in things in a bigger way. Last weekend, I noticed I was bloating more. And I was like looking at my face going, man, why? What's happening? And so I started writing today. And I noticed that as a speaker and out there doing business, that I've been focusing on things that have not been my passion. I'm a passionate person that helps speakers but I've been focusing more on creating the business side instead of learning how to give and receive and give and receive. And that in the past has always massively grown my business. So when I started noticing that, I was like, hey, wait, my health is being affected by this because I'm not letting myself go. I'm holding myself accountable for things that really are not on me. So when you start looking at that, do some journaling. And, that, and that's what came out of it. I would not have been able to speak to myself and keep in that energy of what Regina is challenging us with. How can we bring the creativity out? How can we bring that love? And how can we bring that and connect it together? It's all in this video. Woo! You have an insightful, freshly inspired day. I hope I served you. The Fresh Inspiration Show is going to be starting to be called Fresh Talks. Mindset Transformation Entertainment, 15 to 20 minute talks. And we're going to dial it in once a month, plus all the inspiration that you get here. If you're a speaker, make sure to ask for the form. I will send it to you and we will get you in for an interview. Most important thing, what is your talk about and what is your impact in today? Love you so much. Have a fabulous day. Keep in your creativity. Keep in your love. You got this.